Today is the day that the registry was planning to revoke the licenses of hundreds of truck and bus drivers all across the Commonwealth with just a week's notice. Until we started asking questions and then suddenly the agency hit the brakes, giving drivers several more months. The registry says state law requires the licenses to be taken away. But our Ben Simino is back tonight with an expert who says that's not true, Ben. Yeah, Maria and Ed, in many cases, these commercial license suspensions are based on decades old infractions, which these drivers rightly thought were in their rearview mirror. In the case of Mike McDonald, which I showed you last night right here, the RMV told him they were going to yank his commercial driver's license or CDL based on an OUI he had in 1987. But that was flagged when he first applied for a CDL in 2017 and the State Board of Appeal cleared him. Others don't understand why the registry is doing this now after they've built their lives around driving trucks or buses and didn't raise these old infractions when they first applied for a commercial license. Well, the registry told us its hands are tied by Massachusetts state law, which is one of the toughest in the nation. It includes a lifetime look back at a long list of driving infractions, even if a driver didn't have a commercial license at the time. But there is a provision in that state law which allows the registrar to cap any disqualification period at 10 years instead of a lifetime. But attorney Brian Simino, no relation by the way, who specializes in the RMV says for some reason they just won't do that. If the registry wanted to, they could resolve this. Uh, they could reduce these lifetime disqualifications to 10 years. They'd have to amend their regulations because the registry enacted a regulation basically saying that they wouldn't do that. But the registry is within its power to amend its internal regulations to allow for a reduction of a lifetime CDL disqualification to 10 years. And that would really help. Uh, these people shouldn't be penalized so far uh, into this so long after the fact. And I don't think there's a public safety concern here. So Simino thinks state lawmakers might have to get involved here and order the registry to make that change. And he tried reaching out to both the Senate and House chairs of the Transportation Committee. I did not get a response on this. The registry also did not comment about this provision for me today. More to come on this, Ed Murray.